Hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the clone stamp tool in Photoshop on the iPad Pro. Because I did find there is not much videos on how to uh, use the clone stamp tool on the iPad Pro. I'm specifically using the iPad Pro 11 on iOS 13.7.1. Now let's get into it. Okay, so first go into Adobe Photoshop, go to Import and Open. I'm specifically going to be using the camera. Let's just take a picture. So I like that picture, so I'm going to use Photo. And let's just say you guys are like, ah, that little mark on his head. Well, we're going to get rid of it in Photoshop using the Clone Stamp Tool. Stamp Tool. So first, you have to define a mask. Make sure you have the first option selected when this little, oh god, when this little window pops up that I'm dragging around. So, this mask around the head. Um, keep masking. And we're actually just gonna delete that mask. Do it carefully this time. All right, so now what we do is we duplicate the layer, then we select the mask option. And let's go back from the little black point over there, switch to my face, and let's go to the clone stamp tool. Now watch. Could not use clone stamp because the area to clone has not been defined. Use the touch shortcut to define a source point. So we're going to use my skin as that. So we just click this little button. All right. And now we basically erase that mark from my head. Now I think that that looks worse on my head. What we're going to do is carefully just nudge that up. Touch it up or whatever. Um, and let's just touch that skin up. That looks horrible again, but you know what I'm guys doing. I'm trying to say. So, just trying to patch up that little tiny scar on my head. Which did. So now you see I don't have a big scar on my head. Also, I'm going to uh, do this. I wouldn't recommend using the same skin. What I do is click this to find a source point right next to it. Then use that to touch it up and you see that's not there anymore. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I will see you next time.